Never mind that oh, out, Man, she's not getting me today, I don't want to die in this. Where there is wildfire, there is smoke. Wildfires are increasing in frequency and intensity, which means wildfire smoke exposure is also increasing in the frequency and severity of exposure. We've long known that tiny particles in wildfire smoke can damage your heart and your lungs, but particles you can't even see can enter your bloodstream through the lungs and cross the blood-brain barrier. And once they're in your system and once they reach your brain, it can trigger systemic inflammation. This can lead to those adverse cognitive health outcomes. Stephanie Cleland researches wildfire smoke effects. For this study, she used a brain training game. Within hours of exposure to higher levels of particulate matter, we're seeing significant reductions in people's performance on the game, which indicates significant reductions in their ability to pay attention. And at a recent Alzheimer's Association conference, Dr. Holly Elser presented results of a decade-long study of Southern Californians. It found that wildfire smoke exposure increased odds of a dementia diagnosis. There's emerging evidence that indicates that the particles in wildfire smoke may be more toxic to our health than particles from other emission sources. Smoke particles often travel hundreds, even thousands of miles from a fire, but you can protect yourself. As we move into more frequent and intense wildfire smoke exposures, checking the air quality the same way you check the weather is key. One of the best things you can do is not go outside. And ideally, running a portable air cleaner, having some sort of air cleaning device to help pull the particles in the air out of your indoor environment, create this really safe indoor space. And if you need to go outside, especially if it's really smoky, wearing a well-fitted respirator like an N95 can be really good at reducing your exposure to those particles in smoke. Research into wildfire smoke health effects is relatively young, but it's evolving. 10 years ago, wildfire smoke wasn't that common or that frequent of an exposure. But now that wildfire smoke is becoming a more every summer occurrence, especially in places like Western Canada and the Western US, thinking about long-term exposure. So the framing of the research of shifting to, it's not just a couple days of exposure that matters, it's your lifetime exposure. 